Hello everybody, I hope everybody's having a great day today. Okay, today's video is a twofer. <laughs> I am trying and hoping this will turn into a fall look and it's also using a ColourPop palette. Boudoir Noir this time. So, you got lots to do so let's get going. Alright, this is a beautiful palette. I actually I may have used it just the one time <laughs> and I don't remember that's pretty sad um, but it's actually quite beautiful and it's colors I don't use very often even the glitter is nice I don't think I ever swatched the glitter before if I did it was a pretty bad swatch what else is new but these colors look beautiful and I think I'm going to stick to these two. I know it's a little more summery, but that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> now the question is, I'm going to take, I'm going to take Melt first all over my lid and hopefully that's enough. <laughs> And uh, I'll have to remember to tell you guys afterwards what I am wearing. For the most part, I'm wearing the pretty standard stuff. What is different is my blush. I have been challenged by Cole of the Ball. And to do that challenge, I need a bit of a fall look. So I figured, let's kill two birds with one stone. Let's do one video with doing a fall look and another video trying to do the challenge. I'm gonna see what this one does. Desire. See. I'm going to put a little bit of brown on the outer corner and that is vibin. I be vibin. Okay. Which this one? Okay, that was my regular nine, 16, sorry, and now I'm going to use the 28 from Refer. And I don't want a full on outer corner wing like I've been doing because my hand just will not let me just do a little bit. <laughs> just want a little bit. But I'm telling you, just, I barely tapped my brush into Vibin and look at, at how pigmented that is and it's got a few sparkles in it. One thing I will ask for your opinion I did use my Merit today uh, for my foundation because I do, it, it's an expensive foundation, it's a great foundation even though it's a, t I realized it was a tad yellow. So what I did is I smooshed it all over my face and then I took this out, put a tiny dot, tiny dot, tiny dot. And then I smushed it all together and I'm hoping, I'm, I, I have not gone to look in the big mirror, <laughs> I'm scared. So I'm hoping that that was enough to tone down the yellow in this foundation because I don't want to just throw it out, I want to use it. And the fact that my highlighter did not even last nine months makes me scared for the foundation because it they came in the same pack with the bronzer and the bronzer is starting to get stinky so I, I need to use it lickety split barber trick I think if I used it every day should give me a month I don't think I want to do I don't know why just something is telling me not to go all the way to the end okay now the the problem I have is Ro Rose says to use a bit of your foundation to melt everything together. Well, I can't do that with the Merit because it's 
too dry. <laughs> so this is the first time I'm actually doing that. But I'm using the concealer, remnants of the concealer on my brush. With my finger. And we know how much I love using my fingers. My fingers are great for fairy dust. But for actual makeup... <laughs> I'm also wearing powder mm -hmm. all over my face, even a smidge under the eyes. <laughs> I did put it on. There was still a lot left on the brush. <laughs> oh, good grief. Okay, so the first color is going to be this one, body language. It's going to be fun to edit. <laughs> is going to be fallout because I took too much. If you hear noises, the hubby and the neighbor are doing some construction work. I thought I heard the hubby call out to me. <laughs> That's pretty sad when you hear hey and you think it's you. <laughs> I got freckles. <laughs> I got freckles. Flippity flip. Barb trick. Got smog. Maybe I can take a few of these flecks for fairy dust. Okay, now I'm going to take that green before I forget because it always looks really good with the fingy. That's better. And I sharpened my line. Yeah. <laughs> this is a keeper. This is a keeper. I wanted its sister as well, but I can't remember the name of it, but I didn't manage to get that one. But that's okay, I've got this one. It's really pretty. I see three more looks with this. If I can see other looks in a palette this small with these few shimmers, four shimmers in this palette, seriously, could have added two more. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm happy with that. But before the next step, I just realized that I've got three Illamasqua products on me today. I've got my contour, I've got my blush in Entice, it's on, it's on, and my setting spray. <laughs> I think that's all I have left from uh, Illamasqua. Oh, I'd love to have some more Illamasqua. I really love it. I loves it. But what I'm going to do now is clean up and <laughs> do my eyelashes and I'll be back. I'm back. Okay, I forgot to mention all of this. So before I started, I put on th this Kaja uh, Milky Lip Gloss and it's amazing. I just took everything off. It's a little sticky, but my lips are hydrated like you would not believe. Amazing. Okay, now for my lips, I'm going to use my Wayne Goss Lip Liner in um, Medium Nude. Okay, this is the first time I go over the line. I'm pretty sure you realize that I usually try to color within my lip lines, but I've been watching everybody go over their Cupid's bow and I'm like, I gotta try it. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta. So here I am. And for the bottom, I, when I do that, I always go over a little bit. I've been doing that since I started wearing makeup. Because the I remember the lady at the Estee Lauder counter taught me how to do that. How can I remember that but I forget my words? I love this. I'm scared it's going to finish. 
<laughs> We're getting serious now. Pecan from Wayne Goss. Look at how beautiful that is. I tried. <laughs> it was too scared. <laughs> too too many years of paranoia of, of coloring outside the lines. Okay, so I am full of freckles, but that's my fault. As soon as I saw the brush, I realized that was gonna happen. Um, man, this feels so good. Does it say it's a balm? I can't remember. The Luxury Cream Lipstick. Well, this cream lipstick feels like a lip Balm. It's so nice on the lips and <laughs> I was brushing my hair last night and uh, I don't know how it came like this. I just left it. I couldn't be bothered and I've got a lot of hairspray in it right now because <laughs> I wanted to keep everything down. So yeah, I was brushing my hair and you know when you put there's some anyway, yeah, it, it, electricity. Pff, yeah. My hair was like that. I was holding my hair like this, and I went to see my husband. I said, the house is dry. <laughs> it was like, okay, you had to be there. <laughs> if it happens again, I'll try to take a picture of it. I'll try to remember to take a picture of it and show you guys. But yeah, so my fall look, my fall lip, ready for my challenge, Call of the Ball. Thank you everybody once again for coming to visit with me. Please leave me a comment, like my video, and subscribe to my channel. A bientôt.